All right, well, I found one out of the two things I was looking for. So I'm out here, kind of, uh, I'm about a thousand blocks away from home. I was doing a little exploring. And, um, you know, based on this, uh, I was pretty much just looking for stone, any different stone biomes, and digging down to check out what the other two layers of stone are below it. Of course, I'm looking for schist and, um, Gabbro because Nick only spawns in Gabbro. Uh, I forgot what this was. I this was like uh, quartz and ida something. Of course, it's not going to give me a rock. There we go. Yeah, it's quartz and This is rhyolite, but that's not what I was. That's not the big find. This is it. Down a little bit more. I found this natural cave. I was following it a little bit around here, and ba boom! We got green stone. Yep, it's the schist. Exactly what I was looking for. So I found the schist. Um, I was pretty intent on finding it after I I found out that I had like seven rocks in my chest, and I knew it had to be this way somewhere. So I came this way, I found it, and then I just kept exploring in here. I was digging a little bit. I wanted to dig down a little more, and this is what I found. So I dug down all the way down here. I wanted to see what the um, a rock was beneath the schist. And it turns out it was, if I ever get down there, knocking my head silly here. It turns out it was, it is exactly what I'm looking for. This is Gabbro. So, and if you look at our Y level, 61, actually you could look down there and see the lava. So, the Gabbro goes all the way down. There's got to be a cave over here somewhere. The Gabbro goes all the way down to the floor level. And um, this is where the nickel spawns. It's in here. Well, if it if it is here, it would be in this Gabbro somewhere. So I tunneled all the way down that way, like extremely far, and then even further this way, I found a ravine, I found a cave, the biggest deposit of cephalorite I ever saw, which I, I don't need at, I don't need at all. And, but there's still a lot, uh, there's still a tremendous amount of this Gabbro I gotta make sure I hit to determine that if there's nickel in here or not. And it's gonna take some time. So I'm not gonna do that now. This is gonna this is gonna need a thorough um a thorough uh, exploration. This Gabbro, I gotta make sure I I explore everything. For, what I'm gonna do now is just get me a whole bunch of schist, so I can make up my uh make the creeper statue in its proper rock form, which is this green tinted schist. If you can see it, if you haven't seen it before, it's got this green tint to it. It's awesome looking. So I'm going to set that up. What I'm going to do, I mean, looking a little bit in the future, what I'm going to do is quarry all this stuff, get what I need, go back home. I'm going to build this the uh, creeper. Um, then I'm going to come back here and check out this. Um, got to check out this Gabbro. We got to hit it because it's got to be done. That's the next phase. And like I, I got to find a nickel because I'm, like I said, I'm feeling pressured now to find it before TFC2 comes out. So, um, I just gotta find, pick a decent spot to, uh, I mean, right here is good enough because just above here is, uh, is the Rhylite. So, so I'll show you how I do this. I'll just get this started and, of course, I won't film me um, quarrying all of it out. It's probably gonna be an hour. Because I want to get a couple stacks, you know, not just exactly what I need. I want what I need and extra. So I'll probably start on this block right here. Go like that. Alright, there we go. And, and it starts. And that needs to be broke. So does that. And that's how it starts. Now I just repeat this pattern 
I'll make a bunch of these. I'll probably make like eight of them, maybe even more. some light in here just like that I'm just gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again I'll, yeah like I said I'll make like eight of these at least eight and uh, yeah I'll, I'll cut that out of course so I'll come back when I'm ready to go ready to head back I got all the shifts I'm ready to head back and get started fix up the creeper statue All right, I'm done uh, gathering this stuff up. Didn't take me long at all. This only took about 37 minutes, mostly because the steel pick fires through this stone. Boom, just like that. And I, I was in a groove, I had some music playing, and I just went right through it. This is what I got. Eight stacks of the, uh, the uh, natural schist and all this other stuff. Uh, a nice flawless topaz and a ruby. So that's it. What I'm going to do now is head home and I'm going to make the creeper statue over again. That should be no problem. It's really not that hard a thing to do and especially if I got the blueprints I can um, do the face really easy. The face is really the only thing that had a little bit of chiseling in it. So I'll be back and I'll cut most of that out and I'll probably just come back when I'm doing the face so you could see uh, like the, the finishing touches on the thing and I think it'll look cool alright I did the whole creeper <clears throat> except for his face um, took no time at all and I made the blueprints and um, let's do this it's kinda like it hurts to break it because you know you put put all that work into it and now you're just breaking it but it should be as simple as doing this oh my heart dropped for a second there I was wondering why it wasn't working gotta put the block into micro chisel mode all right and it should be as simple as this Oh, there we go. All right, so it's working. Yep, and the last piece. There it is. We got a green creeper. All right, let me knock all this stuff down and we'll get a good look at it. All right, there it, there it is. We got a green creeper in full form. And it's it's uh it's proper form, proper stone. I also fixed his um busted up toenail he had there. I must have did that uh, the first time I was making it and didn't realize that that one was a little shorter than the other one. But there it is. It looks good. That's definitely the stone that's needed for this. Now the last part is putting that lava in his face as soon as we get the blue steel and then the, the uh, statue will really look awesome all right enough of that what I'm gonna do is throw my crops in the ground really quick these trees are growing out of control in here I don't have an axe on me do I No. I'm gonna throw some crops in the ground cause it's we're approaching February yeah Tomorrow's February 1st. And uh, like to, I'd like to have some crops this season. So let me get my stuff out. I'll sort out my seeds and stuff. And we'll do that really quick. Alright, so this is what I ended up doing. In this space over here, I decided to make it my third farm. Now, I, was, I know I'd ori I originally planned on doing it over there on that island, but that little island... But I figured, why put it all the way over there? The other two were over here, and I, I had the space, so might as well. So now I got my three farms. They're all close together. 
and I sorted out my crops for my A farm. So that's the one I'm going to do now. So come up in here. Oh, we got an unwelcome visitor hanging out with my channels. Go away. Alright. Cut this down. Alright, so the eight crops only consist of um, six, six seeds. And I can plant, this farm right here can hold eight. And even more if I want to, I mean these are pretty long. I have ten, of, well, about ten of each seed, each A seed, nine. So this is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is, these are nine long. So pretty much my whole A farm is going to fit right up here. I mean, it's, this is all free space. I could have made this my uh, my third farm. But anyway, if I want to get into like massive planting later on, I guess I could use that for that one. I mean, I'll be using all this for just one, uh, one farm. So basically, it's going to be pretty simple. Just like this. There's going to be two rows on each side of the channel. Down the middle here. Now I made some. I'm going to do aspen here. I don't nearly have enough. Probably not even for this farm alone. I may have enough for this farm, but definitely not for those two. Alright, I just made a quick little change. I pushed this the farm back one block. So I had enough room to put the signs in here. And uh, I just set the signs up. There's only six crops that are going to go up here now. And it's just simply just going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That does mean that one is going to have to go a little bit over, which is no big deal. All right, so I'm just going to continue planting them. And I'm going to use the rest of my um, aspen planks here to see how far I could get circling around. With, I'm going to go this way, then down there, then this way, and down there. And uh, I'll just see how much, uh, how far I could get with that. I'll probably light the place up too, getting dark out. Alright, so this is done. We got a permanent... A uh, permanent crop here, or a permanent farm. No more messing around with these things. I feel like I've been, always been playing around with the farms every once in a while because I have, but these are definitely the permanent ones. And I'll just throw this down right here, just to signal that this season this is a. That's all I need, and this is done. So that's it for that. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is just quickly fix up the, um, this will be B, 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 and that'll be C. I, I have enough gates. What I'm going to do is fence this area off. I'll figure out a way to fence it off and figure out where I'm going to put like a stairway going down here and stuff. And I got a lot more aspen trees growing. I need more planks. As you can see, I didn't even finish. Um, I didn't even get around this whole farm with those. They kind of stopped right here. Alright. I finally got done with this. And what I did was I planted everything. Did all the boring work. Because this is like the third time I'm making a farm anyway. And we've seen all that. And I laid down all the wood. This is all aspen planks. Fenced everything off. I made some stairs here, some stairs over there. I'm not totally done yet though. But um, that water is like, tweaking out. But I just wanted to show you this before I um, do my next thing. So I got everything named here. 
these are the bee crops, by the way. And this farm right up here is the bee crops. Up there are the A crops. And these are the C crops. Got like an extra channel right here. And it is, um, what are we at here? 18th of February, so these things should start growing in like a month or two. So I, I've been working on this, and man, I gotta tell you, th this is actually in real life, took me like four days to do. I have been so busy this week. Um, I mean, I'm starting to go to the gym again, getting ready for this, it's the gym season, and trying to work that into my schedule and just so much stuff came up but I'm, I just want to finish this episode already it's, I feel like I've been working on it forever I keep filming it in little segments and I just I gotta finish it tonight but this is the farm now what I wanted the last thing I wanted to do was I was trying to think of a way to get from this farm to that farm with safe passage so, say if I come out here, I just want to check out my farms and there's creepers running around. I don't want to go through here and be exposed right here because they can, uh, or skeletons can shoot me, whatever. And uh, I was thinking I could just put up this fence right here. Uh, that'll protect me. But that's boring. And you know what? That's just plain and boring. And then it, I just realized it. I was like, wow, you know what? Making planks would be like the perfect arbor these things make the perfect arbor these planks and I was like oh awesome so I'm gonna make like a um, kind of an arbor that covers this this stairway so I won't have to worry about um, mobs when I come out here and I just want to go from that farm to this farm and basically this is how I'm gonna do it I was playing around with it and I got it the way I wanted. So to just do it like on, on two steps to show you how the whole thing is going to look, you'll get the idea. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. I want it to be like real sticky. Like, like you know, like it's made out of sticks. Like, you know, like a, a, a real arbor looks like. So, just build uh, one of these looking things right here. I think I had another cross beam here. Yeah, and this one got to go up again. And have another one over here. Alright, let me do the same thing on this side really quick. All right, so this is what it looks like on both sides. And this is exactly the type of feel that I wanted. This like thin sticks just thrown together. And, you know, if you had any viney plants or rose bushes, they would grow up it. But I'm going to do this. I'm gonna use a couple different colors here. So we got some ash. And uh, I think I had it like this, right? Two going across. Now I'm not going to hit my head on that, right? Yeah. And another two going across up here. All right, so, no. I won't hit my head on it. It's looking good. Now, just for a little bit of decoration, I wanted to put willow in there. Just because the the willow looks really cool on the um on the ash. Hmm. I think I just had like two decorative pieces like that. Alright, 
So this is what I wanted to do right here. I take this um, this willow piece, line it up right there, and there comes a creeper. Oh, what are you doing over here? Come on, buddy. You're holding up the show. There you go. All right. I put that piece up there, and I put another one on this side. Right, because I want the top to be lined up with that top piece of pine. Yeah, just like that. If you can see that. Then I take another piece of ash. And right across the middle, put another cross beam here. Just like that. And just for decorations purposes. So I could throw one yeah, right there and right there. And they would be on all of them. I like the way the willow looks on the ash. I'm not hitting my head on that. So I'm going to do that <clears throat> on every step here. I think it looks pretty cool. It's like a nice garden thing in Arbor. If there were plants that grew up, uh, viney plants that grew on fences, I mean, that would be awesome to get something to grow up that. It's looking cool. I like it. It serves its purpose, so I, I'll be safe running back and forth. Alright, so I'm going to do that, and I'll come back when it's done. Alright, I'm just about putting the finishing touches on it right here. Okay, there we go. So now we got an arbor. That's what it looks like. It's cool. I like it. It's got a garden look to it, definitely. I like the colors. And I don't hit my head on it. Good. So now I have safe passage from this garden to the other one with some, uh, some nice decoration instead of this crappy fence. Looks good. It came out better than I thought it would, actually. I like it. Alright, there I go. Now I'm finished. I actually had this one willow plank on the top was a little bit off. So now they're all lined up. Oh, are you kidding me? That one, Why is that one off now? What's going on here? Alright, now I'm done. I actually had a couple of these willow planks on top that were a little bit off-centered. There it is. Now it's done. Alright. So here's what's going to happen next. I was reading up on the forums. And I got the scoop. Apparently, most of the time you're going to find your higher level ore spawn in the second layer of rock. So, what does that mean to me? Um, I'll, I'm looking for nickel now. And I know Nickel spawns in Gabbro. That's the only place it'll spawn, is in Gabbro. So what I want to do is go around and find a second layer of rock that's Gabbro. And most likely it'll have Nickel in it. Now, when I got that... The green stone over here. That was the second layer of rock. And underneath it, the third layer of rock was Gabbro. Now it's not impossible for things to spawn on a third layer of rock. It's just a lot less common. And I would normally not waste my time. I would just go look for the second layer of Gabbro. Um, um, a layer, the second layer of rock, which is Gabbro, and do that. But since I'm already in there, I already dug most, well, not even not even half of it. I, I dug some pretty good tunnels into it already. I'm going to go back to that spot. And since I already know it's there, um... I'm going to go back there and I'm going to continue, I'm going to mine the whole thing out. Pretty much make sure I pro pick everything. I cover the whole layer of Gabbro with my pro pick. So I, I, to make sure there's no nickel in it or if there is to find it. Because that's the last thing I need and that's I want to get it 
pretty quick so I could get this lava, light up this statue. Now, I normally wouldn't film something like that uh, mining because it's boring as hell, but I think in this case I have no choice because it's going to take me a while <clears throat> to get through the whole thing. And if I don't film any of it, I mean, it's going to be like, with the, with the amount of time I put into the game, it's... I, I won't be putting out a video for like a week, pretty much, if I if I actually wait until I find something to record. So it's going to be a little bit of me mining. I'm sure I'll come across caves and uh, ravines. I already did in there a couple times already. So I could film that. That's pretty exciting stuff. Maybe. <laughs> could be boring. But, you know, I got to do something. Because if, if I just block the whole thing out... Oh boy, here's a creeper. I mean, you're not going to hear from me for like a week or two. And besides, it's part of the journey. You know, mining and finding this stuff. It's, it's part of everything. So, that's what's coming up next. I'm going to head back out there. It's only about a thousand blocks away. A thousand blocks out that way. I'm going to set up a tiny little mining camp. I'll bring some of my tools with me. I don't plan on being there that long. It should take me only... Um, a day of real life playing, or maybe two. Yeah, I'd say about two days of real life playing to to make sure I thoroughly check the whole thing, so I could get some footage from that. And you know, if there's nothing there, hey, if the search continues. If I find it, man, it's it's gonna be a party. Let me take a nap here. All right. So with that said. I'm going to leave it there, and um, that's what we're going to be doing next. I'm going to check out that Gabbro, and hopefully we strike Nickel. That's, and that's it. So, I'll see you then. Later.